Hi, my name's Ruth and I'm Landscape Conservation Area Officer for Essex Wildlife Trust and today for my random act of wildness for 30 days wild, I am going to make a caterpillar house and I'm going to use this bucket, you could use a jar or a plastic Tupperware dish, I'm going to use this wool, some fabric but you could easily just use a tea towel, some dead sticks and some old compost that I've got lying around. It could be sand, you could use gravel, you just need something to go into the bottom of the pot. The first thing you need to do is you need to get a good layer of whatever you're putting in the bottom and press it down. So you need a nice even layer, like so, and you need to press it down. And then you need to get your dead sticks that you collected on a walk earlier on, and you need to press them into the soil. They don't need watering because they're already dead. So you just put them in, like so. And the next thing that you need to do is go and find your caterpillars. So, this time of year there are lots and lots of caterpillars everywhere and you've just got to keep your eyes open to find them. And taking a few home, and only a few, isn't going to hurt the big population. But what you're going to need is a plastic pot or something to put them in and for the caterpillars I'm looking for, a pair of gloves. And after lots and lots of searching, I've finally found what we've been looking for. These are the caterpillars of the peacock butterfly. They love stinging nettles, which is why they're really easy to look after, because all you need to feed them is stinging nettles. And if we look closely, you can see very small, what look like dead caterpillars. These aren't dead caterpillars. These are just the outside shells of the caterpillars that they've sh shed, um, got rid of as they've got bigger and bigger. And also we can see lots and lots of caterpillar poo. There's loads of it. They must be eating loads because there's so much poo everywhere. Now to collect your peacock caterpillars, you're going to need your gloved hand. You're going to need your box and you need to place your box very carefully on the ground underneath a plant with some butterflies, uh, caterpillars on. Carefully hold the top of the plant and gently shake the plant until some of the caterpillars fall off. So, I love peacock butterfly caterpillars because they're really easy to look after. Now, every caterpillar has a food plant or plants and peacocks love stinging nettles. That is their food plant and there's lots of stinging nettles around so you can replenish the food lots of easily, making sure you wear your rubber gloves, of course. So, I've put some stinging nettles into the bottom of my home. Now I know which caterpillars I've got and I need to transfer my caterpillars very carefully from the pot into the home. To do this, what you need to do is not touch the caterpillar. So the best thing to do is get the vegetation that you've put into the bottom and carefully lay it on the top of your house. In about an hour's time, you can come back and take it off. So to finish off your caterpillar house, you need to get your fabric and a piece of string or a piece of wool. Place it over the top. Try not to put plastic or a lid on top because it makes it in too humid inside for the caterpillars. So you just place it gently over the top and then tie it up nice and tight because I found in the past that caterpillars are really, really good escape artists. In fact, I found one crawling across my lounge carpet before now. So do it up nice and tight and you just have to replenish the food. Every time you see them eating it away, go and get some more. And that's what you do. And you leave it like that for two to three weeks and they'll turn into chrysalists and then eventually, hopefully, we'll get some butterflies. So the caterpillars are safely in their caterpillar house enjoying munching on the stinging nettles. Enjoy your 30 days wild and remember try to do a random act of wildness every day this June.